happy Easter weekend. Um, we've not been out for a while, but we're currently parked up in the um, Hawkins area and outside Lidl. We've just gone in and done a bit of a shop. Ready for the weekend. We're staying in a school playground and um, meeting with some friends. So just a few of us in a group for the weekend. And um, <laughs> what? Good job it is a school playground. I think anything that's been arranged on uh, grass this weekend has been blown right out. So, mm. uh, which is obviously why when we organize these weeks, we, uh, we always have a uh, a backup plan as it's a very early Easter. Mm, it's uh, raining already. Yeah, normally these these early Easter weekends, end of March, they're never good weather wise and you can never get on a grass pitch. So, um, the one they have the, I don't quite know how it works, but um, we're probably the next couple of Easter's will be sort of mid April. So, normally we get nice weather then, mid April. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so we're a bit torn at the moment because we've been um, trying to replace our old Toyota truck. Um, we needed to really get another car as such. So, and I love my truck, so I didn't want to get rid of it. So I come up with a plan that if we change the truck to a day van, that might work. So that's what we've done. So you might actually see that in a future video. And... Um, we're sort of using the motorhome more for longer stays because it's a bit more comfortable and the the day van is as it says a day van so trips out for the day maybe a stop overnight or two maximum pub stopovers maybe a few vw meets yeah which so, i've heard you're giving I'm... it away now i hadn't said what it was which well <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get a day van you're gonna get a day van there's only there's only there's only one van to consider and that's a vw isn't it well so, people have all uh, sorts don't they yeah well yeah 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 but uh, yeah. so yeah so we might do some videos with that as well and hector can come along and you can see some of our trips to the pub <laughs> or day trips out and um we'll try and pick up a bit of video this weekend depending on what we're doing, who we're with, what the weather's like. So, uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you soon. But have a great weekend. Bye. Right, so we've arrived on site. We've been here for a few hours now. We've had our dinner. We had a lovely Cornish pasty that our friend sent us all the way from Cornwall. And um, we've had some friends in for a cuppa. But it is absolute gale force winds out there we are sat in the motorhome and it is literally rocking dave's cold aren't you because i keep asking him to turn the heating down because it's too hot so he's now moaning that he's freezing the dog's curled up asleep on his bed and i'm gonna get my pajamas on in a minute and i think i'm gonna have an early night so hopefully the wind will have dropped a bit by the morning <laughs> um we came past the beach earlier and the sea was so rough it was just like huge waves wasn't it so but yeah at least we can sit chill we haven't got to do anything and it's certainly chilling all right <laughs> <laughs> it's not that cold it is <laughs> well anyway You'll be in your nice cosy bed in a minute so uh <laughs> um yeah so we haven't got to do anything in the morning we can just get up when we feel like it put the kettle on chill out for the next few days do absolutely nothing It'd be lovely so catch up with you tomorrow um and hopefully we'll have a bit more to report bye <clears throat> it's half past four. Got woken up by the wind. I thought the fan was gonna tip over. Don't hide away from me when I need you most. We got love guaranteed, and I have to know. Say, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Hey, don't be so hard to free. Happy 
Friday. Have you all survived Storm Nelson? Um, I got woken up at half past four this morning, so if I look shattered, I probably am. Um, I woke up and all I could hear was this satellite dish on top of the, the motorhome roof just vibrating, going crazy. And then <coughs> as I opened my eyes, the dog... I could, I could hear him panting, so I don't know if he was nervous because the van was moving about quite a lot and he doesn't like travelling in the van anyway, or he was overheating because Dave always has the heating really hot. Um, so I ended up getting up, made the dog a big bowl of water and I thought, well, I'm up now. I might as well make myself a cuppa. So I made, a, made myself a cup of coffee which in this van, it works really well. I didn't have to wake Dave up. Um, he he stayed in bed. I got up, made a cup of coffee, and then Hector took himself back to bed, didn't you, Hector? So I thought, well, I might as well go back to bed. So I took a cup of coffee back to bed and I must have fallen asleep again. And I woke up to Dave this morning clattering about he decided to make a coffee and we sat in bed about eight o'clock this morning. So that was a nice lay in. And we've just pooed about doing nothing much to be fair. Dave decided he was gonna do some work on his computer, which didn't quite work out, did it? Because his charger wouldn't charge the computer. So that was making him grouchy, along with the fact that he's been ill all week. He's had a cold or flu-like symptoms and decided to give up his vape. Good on him for that. But, um, yeah, he's a bit grouchy. Aren't you, Dave? Mm. <laughs> anyway, he's just been over to see a friend in their caravan and um, I decided to take myself off shopping. There's a big Lidl. Lidl? over the road so um as it's easter weekend and i don't know if the shops are going to be shut they probably are sunday i managed to get a few bits in to bring back to the van but tonight we're just going to have dinner and go over to the school hall and socialize with the other members that are here we've got some friends coming tomorrow they've been in turkey lucky so and so so they're coming tomorrow and the majority the majority of us are going over the pub i think we've all booked a meal haven't we yeah so we're going over the pub we're all gonna have a meal so i haven't got to cook tomorrow night which will be nice and then sunday day rest mix with our friends and then we go home monday but we have been so busy lately and grandparents <coughs> duties just haven't had much time to actually get out in the motorhome have we plus we had to um well we were trying to change the car um and in the end we've ended up buying a little vw camper so that's been nice we've actually had a few evenings where we've taken it down the beach sat there with a cup of coffee to be fair i think it's going to have its uses but i don't want to stay in it too long i don't think it would be as comfortable but we've yet to try sleeping in there and put the pop top up so um we might bring you along one day when we do that hector's being a nosy neighbor looking out the window again anyway um this is only the fourth time we've actually been out in frida and i said to dave this morning we haven't even had a chance yet to use her on a lovely summer weekend where we've had the chairs outside so i'm looking forward to that the clocks go back is it forward back or forward forward the clocks go forward this weekend so it'd be nice to have the lighter evenings and um we're lucky enough to be able to have the choice between the motorhome and the camper van so yeah i expect we'll be out a lot more now the weather's changing and we've got the lighter evenings but we've not got too much booked at the moment um i think we're gonna do camper van camp out maybe the farriers festival um but for now we, we've just left it a little bit open so we can decide what we want to do anyway i'm gonna go now and chill out and um 
I'll probably pick the camera up later once I do dinner. Might take you over the hall. Don't know yet. So I'll catch up with you guys later. Bye. It's so nine o'clock Saturday morning and we wake up, we run out of gas. So we're now on our way to Dover. Look like an absolute grab bag. Oh, and the plant's just fallen on my head. <laughs> going to get some gas at Dover so lucky enough we had the Bluetti and managed to put the kettle on using that but so far the weekend's not going to plan <laughs> was going to get up and have a lovely shower wake myself up gradually instead we ended up having to pack up the whole motorhome take the cover off <coughs> <sighs> the things I think to try it Closer to 11 and I ain't hearing nothing. I just need to know that you're okay. finally at the garage at Dover. Dave is stressing out this morning, he's driving me mad. Um, he's actually putting gas in as we speak, so hopefully we can go back and carry on with our weekend. Then I might be able to have the nice shower in the van that I was gonna have, do something with the mop and start the day again. Hope your Easter weekend is going better than ours. Oh my God, honestly. <sighs> there he goes, Mr. Happy this morning. He's got the hump, big time, because the gas flow, for some reason, we've got two bottles, so it should fill up to 40 quid, but it's only taking 20, so, there's obviously something wrong with it. It is going back soon to have some bits done to it, but not what you needed Easter weekend. So we're probably gonna run out again before the weekend's over. Great. I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up. Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day, let me take you away. All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah. Better nights, better days, when you're here with me, babe. Cause you're all that I crave, so I wonder. Too many invitations And the last night was heavy. heavy I need communication Tell me where's your location Used to talk 24-7 Every other second Just to make sure we were up to date Now it's closer to 11 And I ain't hearing nothing I just need to know that you're okay So we got back to our um, site from Dover and I decided I couldn't wait any longer for a shower because the water didn't seem to be heating up so I jumped in, ended up having a freezing cold shower, washed the hair which has now dried naturally and is like a frizz ball and then once out the shower 
Dave was having stress because the heating wouldn't come on. So we discovered there was a fault code where the gas had run out. We had to get the book out, try reset. That wasn't working. So he phoned the dealers who then said, you need to do a hard reset on the boiler. So it was then find out where we access the boiler, take the cover off, unscrew it, hard reset the boiler, which took quite a few attempts, I might add. But finally, it seems to be working. The heating's back on, everything's working again. Thank God, because Dave is stressed to the hilt. Our friends have turned up, so hopefully the weekend can begin, because it has been one disaster after another so far. And um, we're supposed to come away to de-stress. I think we're more stressed than when we started. <laughs> Just pick up your phone, tell me where you'll be, cause I gotta know. Let me know when you're ready, cause I made reservations. Too many invitations, and the last night was heavy. heavy. I need communication, tell me where's your location. Used to talk 20... Well, it's going home day today. Um, we had a lovely day yesterday. We took Hector on a bus for the first time. He was as good as gold and uh, we rode into Folkestone, went to the Harbour Arm which has got lots of food places, music going on, it runs alongside the beach and the harbour. So we stayed down there for most of the afternoon, lucky enough the weather was nice and then we bussed it back and we went over the hall for a social in the evening, came back I had a nice early night, well I say early, it was about 10 o'clock when we went to bed and we've got up nice bright and early this morning, packed up the motor home, had some breakfast which I did in the Ridge Monkey, so we had a cheese bacon and egg toasty, Hector's been fed and walked and we're just going to sit chill, have another coffee probably and then make our way home. All in all, it's been a really nice weekend. Tell me where you'll be, cause I gotta know Let me know when you're ready, cause I made reservations Too many invitations, and the last night was heavy As you can hear, all through the video probably, Dave has been cough, 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 cough He's had this weird sort of virus, don't know if it was COVID, he wouldn't test, but he had um, sort of started off with the shivers and a sore throat and it's gone on all week, suddenly developed into a dry cough. He's just taken the um, screen cover off so you can see out the window, but Look at the sky, looks like it's gonna rain again. But all the trees are in blossom, they look so pretty. There he goes, cough, 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 cough. And I look in this video absolutely shattered because I just haven't slept. On top of that, he's got a problem with his leg. Um, he has developed a swelling around the knee so everybody here all the members have been nagging him to go and see a doctor so hopefully he does um because it's quite quite swollen and um it's giving him a lot of pain down down his leg as well which is a bit worrying so um he's not been particularly well this time round this easter and I'm just hoping that he listens to everybody and goes to the hospital to find out. I don't know if it's water on the knee, bursitis, I don't know what's going on. with Hector's being a nosy neighbour this morning, aren't you? Hello, are you being a good boy? That's it, stay there, stay there, good boy. Are we going home to see Sparkle? <laughs> good boy, 
phone Tell me where you be Cause I gotta know Let me know when you're ready Cause I made reservations Too many invitations And the last night was heavy, heavy. I need communication Tell me where's your location Used to talk 24-7 Every other second Just to make sure we were up to I just need to know that you're okay.